Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Your number one YouTube channel for your online tips and tutorials. So this is basically an update for those people who are new to YouTube Partner Program and they have reached uh, the maximum, the minimum amount to be paid for in their Google AdSense account and they are required to submit their tax information for the non-US or for non-US Google AdSense accounts. So if you don't submit the requested tax uh, tax info for an US Google AdSense account, during your payment, you're going to hold your part of your payment. So you're not going to get 100% of your payment. So this is a very, very important thing to do for those people who are new to YouTube Partner Program. I'm sure those people who have been here on YouTube, they didn't know how to do it, but this is basically for small channels which have just newly been launched and they don't know how to submit their tax. This can apply for people in non US countries or in countries which don't have a treaty, a tax treaty, uh, treaty with USA, like uh, Kenya, Nigeria, Bangladesh, any other African country which doesn't have a treaty with the US. So, this is how you do it. And before you even go to the video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Those who have not subscribed, uh, you can go through the videos. I offer trainings on various ways of earning online through uh, doing surveys or doing through cryptocurrencies through airdrops and so many other things so this is our video so once you log into your google adsense account under payment info you're going to get where to add tax info also when the, your account is uh, is due for addition of a uh, tax tax information they will give you an alert here your YouTube payments are on hold as you have account issues, account issues to issues to fix. So just click action to bring you to this page. So once you're in this page, just click add tax info like this. So they say that plant, uh, this process can take around 15, 20 minutes to keep your account secure. You need to verify it's you and everything. So start form. So the, the first thing it does, you're going to direct me to my Google account. Whereby I have to fill now my password so that I can verify it's me. Like that. Then you just log in. So the first thing you do, the first statement is what type of an account an account is Isaac Haran Joki say is an individual account. I'm not an uh, if you're a business, just go for an individual. But mine is an individual, so click individual. Then, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? So click no. Then next. So, uh, select W8 tax form type. Based on your previous selected answers, W8 form is needed. So, W8, so our major form is this first one, W8 Ben. This form is most, is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. Then there's another one here, W8 ECI. This form is mostly commonly used by an US business entity. So the, since ours is not a business entity, it's an individual YouTube channel, just click the W8 Ben. Then you start the uh, start W8 Ben form. So once you come to this page, uh, it, it requires the name of the individual who is the beneficiary. This is my full name here. Uh, doing business as name or this, I don't have a business so I leave it blank country this is Kenya so just select Kenya here I'm going to select Kenya Kenya where are you Kenya like that so taxpayer identification uh, if you have if you have a taxpayer identification number is an identification number that the IRS requires pays to provide for tax forms so if you're a foreigner and you have a teen for the, for the US, just put it here, but it's optional. Since I, I don't fall in this category of submitting the teen identification number, just leave it like this and leave it blank, then click next. And next, let's say you have another address you want to fill for your tax. You can click, you can, you can just put new informations here. But if you want to use your, the, the, address that you submitted during your identity verification on google adsense just click here use the mailing address 
is the same as or so you just confirm so before you do that let's afford confirm street address uh it says street address is gpo address this is optional or oh, state address this is my address now so 1471 is my I also put my 00100 this is my address up suite this is optional can leave it blank then city is Nairobi, postal code is this one. This is my address, street address. This is Nairobi. Then I have clicked here to show that my mailing address, which I have submitted here, is same as permanent residence address. Also, they have another option here. Permanent residence address is a PO box or in case of uh, you will be required to submit additional documentation. A PO box, post office box, post box is a rockable box with its own number or otherwise. So permanent address so you can say mailing address is the same as permanent residence address just make sure that then click next so on this next page now you see i have submitted my details here my permanent residence address is the same as whatever is the same as the permanent residence address so the next one is a uh, tax treaty. Are you claiming a reduced date of withholding? A uh, reduced date of withholding under tax treaty? No, we are not. Our country is not under tax treaty. Only India and some few countries and UK. As you don't qualify for that, then click uh, next. So, the next uh, activities and service performed in the US has the individual identifying tax in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for Google within the within US that's no I've never performed anything in the US so I certify that the services provided to Google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the US and that any labor or capital including facilities or other tools used to provide such services will be physically located outside the US yes my YouTube channel is in Kenya so everything I do is located outside the US so I think it's okay to click no then click next so under uh, receiving my us tax document delivery preferences let me go paperless yeah yes i go paperless if you want to get your document through mail just click mail but me I, i'm going to go paperless the way it's selected there then click next so i accept here i accept the paper the paperless delivery agreement then click next so this is how your document will be generated so it's good to click the document here and see how it will going it's going to look like and also you can confirm the details that you filled in are correct so you can see all the details i submitted here all, all all my information is here so once you confirm everything is okay go back to the filling confirm i confirm that i, re I reviewed the generated tax document to the best of the, my knowledge and believe they are true, correct, and complete. So just after clicking there, click next. Tax form certification under penalties of uh, yeah. Now you declare under penalties of per jury. I declare that I have examined the information on this form and to the best of my knowledge and believe it is true, correct, and complete. I further certify under penalties of per jury that I'm the individual level. That's the information confirming that you are the real person. So this tax form may be applied to prior payments by providing the form optional certification. I certify that. Just click yes, yes, everything. Eh? Penalties here, yeah, enter here yeah, of present. Just click yes, 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 everything here. Yeah. yeah. Are you the person name in the tax? Yes. Just click yes after there. So yes, I'm the person named in the tax identity section using signing this form. You can see here it has my full name. Isaac Haranjoki. So if you're not the person, just click no. But since I am the person, just click here. Yes, I'm the person name in the tax identity section, uh, section signing this form. And then click submit.
perfect you see now my 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 tax did my tax info has been submitted success, successfully and they have approved me so guys that's how you do it so and it's going to expire on december 2026 so guys thank you for watching keep it dropped to my next video